Okay, so we're going to walk through the exercises for lesson 5.4, uh, div tags. We very briefly touched on div tags last week, but uh, again, I encourage you to watch the video, look through the examples. They do explain a lot. This is just me helping you get through the exercises if you're stuck. So we're going to jump into this first exercise, the quotes. Alrighty. And what I'm going to do just to model what's probably going to be easier for most of you, I'm going to open up VS Code. All right, and again, I'm just going to have this style one in this code hs.html. And this is what I'm going to use for the various exercises. Um, if you're working along, though, at the end, when we start working on the project assignments, that's where it gets a little bit different. And I may have to pause and reopen some stuff at that point. But uh, we'll just get through the basic exercises. So again, I'm going to do a copy of this index file. So I'm selecting out all the code. I'm going to paste it there. And then I'm also going to, okay, so there's nothing in the style file. That's good to know. All right, so now that we're set up to get working, I'm going to go to assignment. All right, it says there are a few quotes throughout the article that need to be highlighted. Put any text that is floating outside of a paragraph tag inside a div tag. Give these div tags the class quote. Okay, so we're going to walk through that. So anything in here that is not in a paragraph tag. So right here, our one secret of economics, like in, so that's going to be a div, and I'm going to do class equals quote, because it told me to give the tags a class quote. Right. And it is going to give me the closing div tag right there beside it. I'm going to do control X to cut that closing div tag, and I'm going to do control V to paste it at the end. And I'm going to look for more text not in a paragraph tag. Here's another paragraph. It opens, it closes. So right here, knowing how to code. Right, that's another div in class equals quote. Again, we're going to take the closing tag. Control X to cut it, Control V to paste it. So we're just surrounding these things that aren't in paragraphs. Right, so we got another one right here. At this point, I could also just start copying and pasting number four. So since I'm going to have to type the exact same thing, I'm just going to copy it, paste it, and I'm going to copy that closing div tag. And I need to get to the end of this. I'm just going to press enter and paste it right there. Okay, and I believe that's everything. So I did step one and step two. Step three, create a CSS rule inside style.css. So for a quote to make the font Arial 20 pixels and italicized. So I'm going to do a dot quote. Remember, a dot creates a class. And I'm going to font family Arial. I'm going to do font size 20 px and I'm going to do font style italic. I'm going to save that save that Okay, and then it says add another CSS rule to the quote class that also indents the block of text by 50 pixels using margin left. So I'm just going to add this in now. So I'm going after that rule for the italic. I'm going to do margin left 50 pixels. And what that will do is before every line, it will indent it on the left by 50 pixels.
Okay. Right, so right here it says HTML file semantic tags establish uh, div classes can also be used block quote class quote could be used um, to stylize it. Um, we don't want to get into all that. We'll just kind of leave it as is. So at this point, now that we did it in VS Code, right, we're going to clear out the index file in Code HS and take what we had in VS Code. We're going to select all of it. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And then we're also going to copy over the CSS. Oop, that's no good. So we're going to copy that. That's just a comment so we can paste below. I'm going to save. I'm going to go to my output. I'm going to refresh. And I should see, so here's my quotes. I notice it's bold um, or italicized. It's a little bit bigger. It's indented. All right, so it applied to all of this. So I'm going to submit and continue. Um, it says checking class quote has the right font family. That's an error because the code, um, VS Code added the, def the trickle down. So don't worry about that if you followed me. So because I have Hel Helvetia, Hel I cannot pronounce that, Helvetica or Sans Serif, they wanted just Arial. Don't worry about that one. Um, if it really bothers you, that you don't have all green check marks, um, you can go in and delete, delete those and leave it at just Arial. Save it, and you should have all green checks. All right, the next one. All right, we have some steps. So again, we're going to get started. All right, so now that I've saved the last one, again, we have an index and a style. I'm going to go back into VS Code. Everything I just did, I'm going to delete. All right, and I am going to copy over the index. And there's nothing in the style, so there's nothing to copy over. I'm going to go to assignment over here to get the directions. All right, so let's give the page the title Netherlands flag. So up here in the title tag where it says your page title, I'm going to type Netherlands flag. I could also copy and paste it if I'm slow typing. Use copy and paste as much as you can. There's nothing wrong with it. I create four div tags in the body. Okay, so I'm just going to do it under the comments and leave the comments there, and I'm doing it in the wrong spot, aren't I? So... Um, let me do that. So I'm going to fix it here. So I'll go ahead and make that Netherlands flag. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to create a div with the class header. So I'm going to do div class equals header. I'm going to do the next one, div class equals Red, comma, and I may need to check my semantics on that to apply multiple classes. So, I'm do red. We'll try it that way. We may have to fix that later. So we're actually applying two classes there. And then we're going to have white rectangle, blue rectangle. Yeah, I'm going to do each one under the comment where it tells me what to do. White comma rectangle. And one more. Blue and rectangle. Okay. Then in our CSS, we're going to create a 
add rules for the classes red, white, and blue. So we're going to do dot red, dot white, dot blue. This is make their background colors correspond to their names. So red, we're going to give it a background color of red. White, we're going to do our curly bracket, press enter. Background color white. Blue, we're going to space, curly bracket, background color blue. Okay. Make the width of class rectangle 800. Make the height of class rectangle 150. So we need to make a class called rectangle. So I'm going to do dot, or actually skip a line, just keep the spacing. Rectangle. I'm going to do the width. 800 pixels, height, 50 pixels. All right, and this is make the background color of the class header, light sky blue. So dot header, background, light, sky blue. Okay, so we created one, two, three, four, five classes. We're going to save. I right, notice it's already linked here, so that was done for us there. Uh, it really doesn't matter that I save it here other than just to keep the... All right, so I'm now going to copy the HTML and replace what was in the index with that. I'm going to copy my CSS and paste it here, and we hopefully are going to see something pretty cool if I did it right. We're going to save it. We're going to go to output. Okay, so I did not do something right. So red, white, blue. So what I need to fix, I'm going to do a quick. This happens sometimes in the real world. So how to apply multiple classes to a div tag. I just need to find the separator. So I was using commas. I didn't need to. That tells me what to do to fix it. So I'm just going to go in and where I had those commas, I'm going to delete them. I'm going to do the same thing here in code HS. So everybody makes mistakes. This is good. It would be boring if I didn't mess it up sometimes. All right, let's save and let's try it again. Okay, and now why are you not working? So, style, style, so I don't think I have the rectangle anywhere, I should have it right there. So let me go back to assignment. See if I missed a. See if I missed a step somewhere. So give the page a title Netherlands flag. Create four div tags. We did that. Give the first div tag the class header. We did that. Give the. Oh, so I did not follow that. Is a key step. So let's try this flag of the Netherlands. And there we go. Okay, so a little bit of a delay. So that one little thing threw me off. And maybe I wasn't being patient enough before. I can expand that view. So now we can see the flag of the Netherlands and this would be the div tag that we Gave the red rectangle, white rectangle, blue rectangle. Alrighty, so a little bit of fumbling around. Sorry about that, but we should be ready to submit and continue now. There we go. Okay.